Hey guys, welcome back to Gavin's Garage. Today we have the brand new smart generator, EcoFlow Smart Generator Dual Fuel. We're going to unbox this generator. We're going to do a DB test, show you what it comes with, and do a quick load test before we break this generator in. It's just I'm just going to do a light load test. And we're also going to find out, can you use this generator as a regular generator? Meaning, do you need a the Delta Pro to use this generator? Can you just buy this generator and use it as a regular generator? I'm going to see if it will power some stuff on my RV. I'm not going to put a huge load on it, but I just want to see if I can use this as a regular generator. Let's get it unboxed, see what's inside. Okay, guys, I already cut it open. First thing you're going to see, cardboard on top. Take this off. You're going to run into your, oh, this is your power cable, so you can hook it up to your Delta Pro. Your manual. Fuel regulator, hose, and everything right here. And I like that it comes with a quick disconnect. Got your little toolkit, spark plug, and screwdriver. And a long funnel so you can get that oil in your generator. Okay, guys, as you can see, you got your funnel, screwdriver, and spark plug tool, your fuel regulator, your hose. This is the cable you'll need if you want to charge your uh, smart generator. So you can use that and your manual. All these come in the box, ready to use. A lot of people ask me, does it come ready to use? Yes, the only thing you need is your fuel source. Propane tank or gas. Okay, guys, there you have it. The EcoFlow dual fuel smart generator. I'm going to start at this side right here. First thing you have is your fuel shut off. This is on and off. You got a pull start. Over here, you have your quick connect for your propane. I love the fact that it's a quick connect. That makes it so much easier. And you can tell it's kind of recessed. So if it's not, it's not sticking out, it's actually recessed, so if you hit it, it will not hit that. If something falls and hit it, it will not break the uh, quick connect. That's pretty nice. You, I don't know if you can see it from this side, it's flush. Usually they stick out. Put this in to protect it, any kind of dust. Let's go this way. You have your gas on top. It does come with a on and off vent. So if you put this in your truck, in your um, SUV, keep it on off when you're storing this, when you're traveling with this, so it does not vent the gas into the vehicle. When using it, you have to put it to the on position. Get to your front, display, electric start. You have a recoil starter and electric start. So you have the two options. And you can also start this via your phone. So three ways to start it. Pull start electric start or with the app AC on off that's this guy right here you got your seal monitor so it will shut itself off if you put this somewhere and it does not have enough oxygen it will shut off if it detects uh, carbon monoxide oil alert if the oil runs low it will shut it off that turns your AC on and this is how you uh, get your um, app connected right here you have a 15 amp plug And over here, you have the DC connect, so that's where you would charge your smart generator, your smart battery from right here with that cable I showed you before. Get to the other side. So one thing you have to notice, this little, this little slash is right here. If you were ever to spill fuel while you're filling this thing up, it would come through here and would drain out of this right here. So it would not stay on top. They put this so it would drain the gas out if you happen to spill anything on here. Let's get this thing open and check inside. One more thing I want to show you. It does have a spark arrestor, so it is spark safe. So we'll get our screwdriver, Phillips side, and you just flip this around. You got a flat. Oh, it's turned around on me. Okay, so you can get this open right here. Flip once. Right. This generator does come fully insulated, so it 
nice and quiet okay see this insulation right here okay first thing i'm going to show you is your battery this is actually your battery pack it comes disconnected so you would have to connect your battery this is one of the things you do after i recommend you do that after you uh, put your oil air filter carburetor it is carbureted you got your fuel shut off right here your spark plug would be right here there is no spark plug access on the top you'd have to get it from in here okay and this is where we add the oil it does not come with oil so you have to supply your own oil let's get some oil get this thing started and do a db test Add in the oil. <laughs> All right, guys, I just added the oil, topped it off. Now I'm going to connect the battery. Make sure you don't forget to connect the battery. Just line them up, plug it in. Tuck this back in here. Get your top on. And lock it. What a turn. Okay, guys, we got oil in the smart generator. I'm going to go ahead and run it on propane. Let's get that propane tank hooked up. And give that first start. First thing, that awesome quick connect. Just plug this in. That quick connect is pushing in. That's it. You're good. Open your gas. Once you get your gas connected, turn on your propane. And see it comes on. Propane tank is on, switch is on, hit that start button. Well, I haven't done the first, since it's a new generator, I'll give it some slow pulls. One, two, three, and now I'm gonna go for the start. There you go. Okay guys, it's running right now and you see a ride on it right about 64 super quiet hey guys i'm back about 20 23 feet getting right about 52.2 in eco mode on propane Okay guys, so the generator's running. I just connected the app, which was really simple. All I did was turn on the app and it found it and everything started running. There's a little button right here, go to performance mode. Confirm that. Yeah. 54.5. Eco mode off. All right, guys, so if you're looking at a dual fuel version and the gas version, there's no, there's no hint that without saying uh, dual fuel right here, you would never know the difference. They're exactly the same. And from the back, they're both the same. The only difference is the dual fuel sign and then this right here. And another thing I can tell you is this one is significantly quieter. I don't know if it's the propane, might be running a little lower on the RPM, but it's quieter for sure. 
and they're both in eco mode. Okay guys, so let me show you this setup right here. I have the dual fuel smart generator, smart battery, and the Delta Pro. They're all hooked up. One thing I like is when you hook all of them up, check this out. It doesn't matter which one you turn off. Let's just turn off the smart battery. See, they will all shut off. So it doesn't matter which one you control, they all turn on. Let's see if I can get this in a shot. All together, I'll turn on the Delta Pro. Every one of them turns on. If your Delta Pro is less than 30%, it will start your smart generator using propane or which, whatever, whichever gas source it's hooked up to. All right, but it has to be under 30% to come on. All right, let's do a quick demo. Hooked up to propane, dual fuel smart generator, smart battery, and the Delta Pro. Let's hit that start button. All right. There you go. As you can see, guys, it's putting out, ramping up. This one's getting 600 something. getting one so this is the smart generator and the smart battery coming to the Delta Pro if you add them up all right guys just a quick demo of how I charge my Delta Pro and the smart battery with the smart generator using propane. Now, I told you guys that I wanted to see if you could use this as a regular generator. Let's go ahead and hook it up to something that we can use the AC port and see if we can run something. Okay guys, so we're gonna try to use the smart generator by itself as a regular generator. I just wanna show you guys that it can be done. Running on my RV, I'm gonna try to run the uh, refrigerator, just some appliances in the RV just using it by itself. Let's see if we can use it as a regular generator. We are gonna be using propane and this port right here. Now remember, only 15 amps, right? Says it right here. Let's plug in my RV after we start it. So we go ahead and turn your gas on. There you go. Start it up. Let it run for a little bit. Come over here. Open this up, plug in your RV. It's gonna ramp up. That's the starter, that's the charger, and any other thing on, is on the RV. Okay guys, we're inside the RV. Smart generator's running outside. As you guys see, I got the oscilloscope on it. And you can see it has a pure sine wave. no distortion so even with the ac output you still get that absolute pure sine wave let's go ahead and turn my refrigerator on pure sine wave and the cool thing about this if you decide to use this as a just a regular generator you can use your app on the inside of your rv and you can see i'm pulling 580 watts it's fluctuating up and down and so that's that's real nice you have the app you could shut it off you could start it from the inside you got a graph shows you a power output you turn it on you could switch to performance mode it's wide open or you can go back to eco mode all from the inside of your rv So you can use it as a regular generator if you wanted to. 
All right, guys, let's come over here. Let's turn on the e AC. So we're going to see if it'll run an AC. I have a 13.5 AC with soft start. Let's see if we'll turn it on. Turn this all the way down. And hit that AC. AC fan come on. And here's the compressor. It's just pulling 1,000, right at 1,180. Let's go outside and see what it sounds like. Running on propane, using it as a regular generator, or you could use it to charge your Delta and everything else. All right, guys, here you have it. EcoFlow dual fuel smart generator. I showed you guys you can start the smart battery and the Delta Pro and you can use it as a regular generator on your RV or your home. It doesn't matter. It can utilize both of them. You can utilize the DC port and the AC port. Guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. I have the link in the description for this generator right here from EcoFlow. Check it out. Get you one. Absolutely recommend it. Love it. Thanks for watching this channel, guys. Have a great day. Bye.